You see me sitting in this wheelchair today, but if you had known me three years ago, you would have known a very physically active young girl. I played volleyball since the sixth grade. I played varsity since the ninth. I truly love the game. I also love to take walks, ride my bike, run, play on the trampoline with my nephew, and chase my niece around the yard. Then on August 12, 2003, my life took a very tragic turn. I was just over 16 years old, and I was a passenger in an SUV involved in a rollover accident. I was thrown from the vehicle and landed on my back. I fractured my spine at T12, which made me a paraplegic. I spent a little over a month in the hospital. There were times I would just constantly lay in bed with my eyes shut to avoid talking to visitors and stare at the ceiling. I didn't want to face the reality of this situation. At times, I thought it would have been better if I had died. I didn't want to live this altered life that I was facing. My future was dark. I would never play volleyball again. I would not be able to dance, ride a bike, or walk down the aisle at my wedding. My nephew and niece would not remember me walking. All they would remember is seeing me in a wheelchair. Rehab was so incredibly difficult. I had to relearn how to dress, bathe, transfer from place to place, and survive in a wheelchair. After I mastered these once simple tasks, I was sent home to continue with my life. I thank God each day that he continued to support and comfort me. He gave me the strength not to give up. I also had a great support team from my family, my church family, and my community. Then in April of 2004, something happened that gave me new hope. My pastor called my home and wanted us to turn on a PBS special called The Miracle Cell. It was a program on a procedure that was being done in Portugal by a Dr. Carlos Lima. There were two girls that were told of having this done and that were walking with braces. My family and I became very, very excited about the prospect of doing this. We made it our mission on that day to do everything humanly possible to become a candidate for this surgery. After several visits to Michigan Rehab Institute, many, many emails to Dr. Lima, numerous medical tests, in much prayer, I was accepted. My mom and I went to Portugal in October of 2005. I had this procedure done on October 29, 2005. It was a very unsettling trip with the language barrier, the seriousness of the surgery, the discomfort and pain that I endured. I had to fly for an eight-hour return home, barely a week after my surgery. I had about 20 staples in my back, so that was a very, very difficult plane ride home. After resting at home for a few weeks, I went to Michigan to begin the aggressive rehab. I learned so much there. They are the best at what they do, and I will never forget Dr. Hinder and the wonderful therapist. It has been a little over eight months since I had the procedure. I haven't had a lot of return of feeling in my lower body yet, but I do have a lot of sensation and movement in my hips. My legs feel a lot heavier at times, and I have intense tingling that I never had before. I continue my rehab at home and at my church. I have leg braces and I can walk independently on parallel bars and with a walker. My goal for 2006 is to be able to walk with the braces and crutches. I know if I continue to work hard at the rehab and by the grace of God, I will succeed. People have asked me what I think of stem cell research. Before the accident, you know, I never really gave it much thought. But today I have reflected on the issue often. I do not support embryonic stem cell research. I think it is morally wrong the killing of another human being, no matter what stage of life. But I do support adult stem cell research. Adult stem cell research has already helped people with Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury, sickle cell anemia, and heart damage. Stem cell research is finding solutions. Adult stem cell research, not embryonic. Science and medicine does not have to kill in order to cure. The great advantage to adult stem cell treatment is it's just your body healing itself. There is no transplant rejection since it is our own tissue. Sadly, I had to travel to a foreign country, leave the comforts of my home and country to get a medical procedure to help me. That is very wrong. The United States prides themselves on the advancements in medical field, and they should, but when it comes to spinal cord injuries, the United States has sadly fallen behind. Well, to sum this up, I want to end on a very personal note. What if I was your daughter, your sister, your grandchild, or someone that was near and dear to your heart? Could you honestly deny me this chance for recovery from a devastating injury? Would you be satisfied with me in this wheelchair for the rest of my life? 
Adult stem cell treatment and aggressive rehab enabled me to think beyond this wheelchair. I can truly say that after learning about this procedure and the inspiring hope has caused my tears of sadness to, tear in, to change into tears of joy. I can walk. Thank you.